Electric mountain bikes cost a lot of money. And it kind of got us thinking, could you get a similar experience from a DIY bike as you can from a pre-manufactured superbike like this? Does the home build take you to the same places the more sophisticated bike will? Does it give you the same ride experience? Only one way to find out, this is DIY bike versus superbike. Oh, you... <laughs> I can't believe you didn't die at the top there. What makes the superbike so super? This is a state-of-the-art e-bike, a true super e-bike. It has 150mm of rock-sucking fork travel at the front, 150mm out back, brakes to pull you up on a pin, and looks that wouldn't be out of place on Kensington High Street. And that is something reflected in the price though. A handsome 7,249 quid. But let's face it, it's a damn fine looking machine. What makes a DIY e-bike? On the other side of the budget, there is the home build kit, which is knocked up in my shed. It costs a fraction of the price, hundreds instead of thousands of pounds. Maybe not quite as pretty as the Levo, and a slight mismatch of parts. Old school geometry, but price-wise, this motor kit comes in at a measly 375 pounds minus the battery. This bike then is all I mentioned before, and more. Mid-drive 250 watt motor pumping out 90 newton meters of torque. 150 mil travel front and rear, as already mentioned, with a massive 700 watt hour battery giving a huge range. All that tech is mounted to a carbon chassis running on 29 inch wheels and weighing just 23 kilograms. Designed for the big days out on the hills, it's a true trail bike. The Levo is an absolute animal up the hill and certainly no slouch on the downs either. Moving on to the DIY build, built not bought. Bringing an old bike from my shed a new lease of life. This kit is a home build mid drive kit from Cyclotricity. 250 watt motor with five levels of assist. It's mounted into old school Cannondale Jekyll full suspension frame with 115 millimeter rear wheel travel with 120 mil fork up front. It's rolling on 26 inch wheels with a 36 volt 19 amp hour battery weighing in at 25 kilos. A bike that originally started off as a cross country machine has now been electrified and given a new lease of life. So how good is this kit? Can it do all the things an off-the-shelf e-mountain bike can do? Or is it a simple case of e-bike versus an e-mountain bike? Well, it's time to find that one out. Well, Doddy, I think it's about time we set this machine to an epic climb test. Oh, yeah. Now, one of the most epic climbs that I've ever done is just across the valley here in Clifton. Yep. And that was a slab. You remember that, right? 100%. It's crazy, that thing. Well, unfortunately, that thing is a little bit wet. So we're on the other side of the valley in the sun. And there's this mini rock slab. Which mini is slab. That, look at that. Yeah. It's that, you know, it's that steep. Even the local kids are using it as a slide. Is that polished in the middle? Got it. Get on. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my ass! Oh. That's insane. That so it's going to be awesome. pretty steep, so I think it's time to see how this home build kit handles on this sort of thing. Well, Doddy, I'm a little bit nervous about this. It's short, but it is pretty steep, and I think this bike with the motor, you know, I'm pushing a 42 tooth chainring up here. <laughs> I think I've got a 32 tooth biggest on my cassette. Yeah. So compared to that bike, it's going to be a different world. Yeah. To be fair, this is pretty much designed for this. It's got sticky rubber tires, mm. loads of torque and power, yep. real low gearing. Um, and even then, it is pretty slippy. It's going to be pretty full on, isn't it? Yeah. So what are we going to do? We're going to sort of climb up on the right, yeah. sort of circle around somewhere where that coloured paint is there yeah. and then back down. Back down. So yeah, All so right. you can get it. Stick it in turbo. Well, Good yeah, I'm, I'm in turbo. Um, Good luck to you, mate. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna need I, it, I, think. I reckon I'll probably get it on this. Yeah, easy, but, uh, you got it. But we'll see. Wow, look at that. Easy. Loads of grip. Ah, oh, that's a walk in the park. Walk in the park for that bike. Easy, peasy. Yeah, it's nice good, mate. Now, right. to be fair, it is a little slippery. You might struggle. How steep? Right, I've got high power mode engaged. Secretly, yeah. I want you to be able to do it on that. I'm looking forward to it as well. Right, go, go, go. Oh, the gearing isn't quite as spinny. Oh, oh. he's missed out the crack. Oh, this 42 tooth chainring isn't really the one. But we're up. Now time to drop it. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Whoa, my god. <laughs> that was insane. 
<laughs> I, I can't believe you didn't die at the top there. Yeah, let's not talk too much about that. That was pretty sketchy. But on the way up, you know, pushing that 42 tooth chain ring, I had to get out of the saddle and I was really worried about wheel spin. That was the yeah. main thing. And about the chain snapping as well, because it's a torque sensor in this motor. It's like got to work Dude, pretty hard. I don't know if you noticed, but you were wheel spin before you even got into it. I, I know, was thinking like, oh, your line's going to be a bit messed, but <laughs> tell you what, fair play for actually getting up it on that. Insane, isn't it? I'm kind of a little bit of a fan of it. Growing on you as a doddy. Yeah, a little bit. Well, I think it's time for another challenge. Let's get into it. Sounds good, mate. <laughs> I know what this bike is for. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, one of the kings of off-road e-biking. Yeah. What exactly is that? I get it, you've got a second-hand bike, you, I get you've got a kit on it, but who uh -huh. is it for? Well, I think it's one of those guys that's kind of like a multi-use kind of rider, guy that's probably hitting the trail centers at the weekend, bit of trail building maybe, a bit of exploring, but probably a lot of commuting going on as okay, well. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, would you commute on that bike? Um, in truth, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. um, so it's got sticky rubber tyres that yeah. are very slow, uh -huh. even with the power assistance. Yeah. And to be honest, on my normal daily commuter bike, mud guards and stuff, I'm probably riding 20 miles an hour on the flat, so I'm riding quicker than this will allow me to. And let's not forget the cost. I don't, I wanna, say, I don't want to lock this up around town. Know, that being close to seven grand, you're not going to so, lock that up in the bike rack. I kind of get it. So you yeah. can commute, you can do a trail centre maybe at a weekend. Yeah. There's a lot of things you could do with that. Yeah, so to think, uh, keep things fair, I think we should keep it a little bit on road for these first couple of tests okay. rather than on the trails. Yeah. So I'm thinking a sprint race from the bottom of this hill to the top. Okay. Kind of like the thing you'd find on a standard mountain bike would get the lungs burning, but yeah. on these e-power, I don't want to see the difference between the Levo and the home build. Right, Doddy, are you ready? Yeah, I'm We're ready. going to go on one, okay? Okay. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh my God, you've got some, <laughs> you've actually got some power on that thing. It's all right, isn't it? <laughs> ah, that newton meters, 90 newton meters is eating me up here. Ah! Well, fair play, Doddy. I was kind of expecting that. Big 29er, 90 newton meters of torque. You clipped in, all that power pretty much annihilated me on that climb. It was easy. <laughs> <laughs> but you might have got me on the climb, but I think this thing is going to be faster top speed and on the flat Ooh. than that. So what do you fancy your chances with that puny 32 tooth chain ring compared to my 42 tooth bad boy? I've got some natural horsepower. Nah. I'll, I'll give it a go. Nah, you're not going to be anywhere <laughs> near. Well, let's have a look. Right, let's try and find a road let's for this go. one. What are we doing here? Well, Doddy, we're about to ride Ashton Court for a bit of mountain biking, oh, yeah. some off-road stuff. Oh yeah. But I think in payback to that annihilation you did on that hill sprint to me, I think I'm gonna show you about the top speed of this machine. So oh. from here to the trailhead, it's all about max speed. Come on, Clips, you can do it. <laughs> right, so from here, fastest speed that you can record on your Garmin. All right. See you later. All right, hold on. Dude. Where the hell is he? Oh. Oh, dude. Finally, here you are. <laughs> <laughs> Told you you'd never catch this machine on the flat ground. This thing with the 42 tooth chain ring, absolutely bombing along. Well, I've got some horsepower, but I don't reckon. What In fact, hold on, let's Max not guess. Speed. All right. Uh, 17 and a half mile an hour. 17 That's and so lame, isn't it? 19.9 <laughs> mile an hour along that flat bit. When, once I'm over the parallel motor with these tyres and the weight is, you can't sustain that. No, no, this thing is literally gliding along. Loads of assistance. I think for commuting, this thing is absolutely banging. Yeah. But it's time to take it off-road. We're at the trailhead now. Yeah. This is the red trail. So I think things are going to swap out a little bit, maybe. Yeah, well, let's see if we can have some fun. Yeah, so I don't think it's all about challenges. It's about having fun. We'll just regroup at the end of this trail. Yeah. Let's smash down this one, see how much fun it is. Yeah, man, let's do it. Right, let's do it.
<laughs> so good. <laughs> I'll tell you what, like, even on like, a super good bike with great suspension, it's still pretty jarring through there, so that must have been horrendous. I'm not going to lie, Donnie, it was pretty harsh <laughs> coming down through that rock section. Yeah. I mean, the upper stuff was really good, the flow is stuff. The blue like, stuff, yeah. Yeah, this bike, I think, pretty much held its own. It, you know, stayed with the super bike up I'm, there. I've got to say, you had pretty good pace for you. I was quite shocked, yeah. I forget about 26-inch wheels as well, how they dive in the They're corners. They're great in the turns, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. Momentum, but yeah, as I say, the rough stuff just knocked this bike about. Yeah. The suspension, there's some noises coming from the, like, the battery as well, like knocking around in the frame. And obviously the motor, I think, has come a little bit loose and that thing's knocking I around, so. I think your DIY needs a bit of improvement. Yeah, there. maybe get a bit of an improvement on the tools. What do you reckon? See if you can stay on me for the rest of this trail? Right the way to the bottom of the trail, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't fancy your chances, Todd. I think it's 26 inch wheels, skinny 2.2 tires. <laughs> it's gonna be all over that Land Rover down this trail. Yeah, we'll see. Right, you do it. I'm not even gonna keep up with you, I'm gonna overtake you. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Doddy. Oh my god. This what was that all about? So rapid down there, these surface trails, this bike is absolutely flying down there. I can't believe you actually snaked past me. There. I know, it's pretty close on the end of it, but I saw my chance and had to go with it. Yeah. And, uh, but pretty comparable on that kind of trail, isn't it? <laughs> I'm, I'm so surprised by that. Come on, curiosity killed the cat. Let's have a go. Right, let's do let's it. have a go on this old shed. Be prepared to be amazed, Doddy. This thing's tiny. Oh, this is more like it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What did you think then, Doddy? Do you know what? I'm honestly really surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Yeah, like I was laughing at you all day on it, yeah. but it kind of does hold up. I mean, it's no comparison to that. That's, no. a, that's a different league of a bike. You're never going to beat this all in one package, are yeah. you? It's got no, the big no, battery, no. the powerful motor, the big suspension, big tyres, travel. Yeah, but you name I'm it. still smiling. Exactly. And I've just been riding exactly. this. It does put a smile on your face for not a lot of money. And that's the thing about today's video. Yeah. This bike, 7,000, you know, over 7,000 pounds. That bike with the battery and the motor combined, just about 800 quid for the yeah. motor and the battery. Then obviously you've got the bike, which you're going to bolt it to. Now yeah. that can vary in price oh, you, point. you could spend 100 quid on the exactly, bike. Exactly, yeah, get something second hand and bolt yeah. it. Pretty much like I've done for that. That bike cost me 150 pounds. Then I added that kit. So I've got a pretty capable bike for under a grand. I kind of think you're onto something with this. You reckon? Yeah. It's good yeah. fun, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon you should probably modify it a bit though. Like there's a few things a little yeah. bit rough around the edges. Change the forks. A bit like better front tyres, a little yeah. washy. It's yeah, good, yeah. good in the rear, but not the front. But the motor and the battery package overall, that's pretty good, isn't it? A bit it? of thread lock could do good, wouldn't it? It's all come loose. <laughs> anyway, do you, uh, do you want to fancy another lap? Yeah, I, I kind of might have a lap on this, you know? Sure. I'm a bit slidey on the flats and my clip ah. shoes, but... You love yeah, the yeah, DIY yeah. then? Yeah, Let's do go. it. Let's go. I'll tell you what, I actually can't believe you got this thing up the slab. I reckon I could get the proper one, change the gearing on it, what all the way it? to the top. What, yeah. the nutty one? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, just give it a go. I'll be well up for it that. Could do, like, it could become the new challenge bike. I could even go in a lower power mode, I reckon, and cruise up there. 